Todd, I'd like to turn it over to you for some opening comments. Well, we're excited about this season. Um, for me, certainly, I think more so than the previous two. Uh, this will be my third year to be back at Tarleton, and I'm, I'm very thankful. I feel very blessed to be able to coach these guys. Um, we were uh, five and six my, our first year back with a little bit of an improvement, and we were six and six a year ago. Again, we made improvement. Uh, we had a win in season, but only for about three weeks. Uh, we were fortunate enough to play in a bowl game, played a very good central Oklahoma team. And, and while I think we continued to improve and, and uh, played well, we were, we were not able to get a win there. So uh, we finished six and six. But um, both of the last two years, we've had small senior classes. And, and I really think to, to challenge for championships and uh, the championship teams that I've coached, have had really strong senior classes. And, and that's one of the reasons that I'm so excited. Two guys like they are up here with me now. Uh, we're going to have 30 seniors this year. And each of the last two years, I think it was more like 11, 12, 13, something like that. So um, we should have good leadership. Um, you know, I, I'm still um, I'm an old enough, I think, old school type of guy. I like to throw the ball as much as anybody. But but I really do believe that we that that you win football games up front. And um, we have not been uh, as good as I would like up front on offense. And so I think we're going to be much, much better up there. And uh, we'll, we'll enable us to, to run the ball better. We, we're going to have some, some good backs, some good proven backs. Uh, we got to stop the run on defense. And we got a chance to do that a little better as well. So. Um, for the first time, I think I really am encouraged and, and I'm cautiously optimistic uh, that we have a chance to improve again. And, and our first goal always is to, is to have a winning season, kind of get that in the books, and then hopefully you have a, have a group that you can keep stacking those wins up and maybe have a chance to qualify for the playoffs. You may have just hit on this, but just to follow up, any specific goals from your offense or, or defense going into the season? Well, I know, I know to really be good, you got to you got to have good quarterback play, um, and we've had a really fine young man the last two years in Zed Warner. Um, we've got some some guys that are going to continue to battle through camp to, to for that job. You got to you got to have somebody that can catch the snap and and play well if you're gonna if you're gonna really win and make some noise. So, uh, you know, we feel like um, that's a real key for us there. We feel good about that position. And otherwise, we got a lot of guys back at a lot of different positions. Um, a year ago, and uh, we oftentimes, both of these young men are junior college transfers. I'd also like to, I'm, I'm very, very proud of the fact they're both going to graduate in, in December. Um, but oftentimes, we may get some guys to come to camp late. And a year ago, early, we didn't play very well. And we had to play a lot of guys uh, that were brand new to our program. We weren't in very good shape in some spots. And so um, uh, we've kind of got that behind us, I think. And so now we're moving forward. And the first half of last season, I think we were, we were really, really average, maybe below. And then about mid-season on, we started being a a decent football team and, and, and play, got better and better every week and I thought made real improvement. So my goal for these guys and for our program is that we continue to build on that. Xavier, you uh, set several season best in a big Lone Star Conference game last year at Midwestern State. Can you talk about throwing your first career touchdown pass in that game along with uh, two rushing scores and a receiving TD? Yeah, it was definitely awesome and I was just excited that the coach, he trusted in me to be able to throw the ball and run the ball and just put the ball in my hands every time that he possibly could that game. Tyrell, last season you forced three fumbles. Talk about getting to the ball and uh, two of those three being turned for uh, touchdowns by a teammate. Um, basically my philosophy is just, you know, once I get to the ball, just try to you know, make a bigger play than what I already have. So I know the, the first one, uh, quarterback came out to the side and uh, no, no one really blocked me, so I just kind of wrapped him up and just kind of pulled at it, and it came out. And then the second one came off the corner. It was just perfect timing, just reached out, and, you know, Chase Varno picked it up, took it in for a score. And uh, that third one, that was uh, it was hard because, you know, UTPB, that was a hard game for me. But, uh, you know, I just like to thank God, basically, for putting me in position to pull it out and, 
you know, all these teams in this conference are really talented. So, you know, being able to force three is pretty big for me. Xavier, so far, what's been your favorite non-football memory at Tarleton State? Uh, my favorite memory is just actually just getting there and transitioning from JUCO to seeing what uh, a new family was like and everyone just taking me in and just, you know, every day in the locker room with the guys just gelling together on and off the field. And uh, last question for you, Tyrell. What are your uh, individual and team goals going into this next season? Um, as a team, I just want to get better each week. You know, we have a lot of talent, you know, and uh, just for us to get better each and every day at practice and then individually just be the best player that I can be and be a, uh, a good leader, you know, for this team going into my last season. All right, Tarleton State. Thanks, guys.